Hi, Leilani. It's lovely to um, get some time to talk to you about the TA, the National TA Conference that's happening in Harrogate in yeah, April. Exciting. Yeah. Um, you're on the organising team, and I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about your role, please. Yes, yeah, certainly. Well, I think I've I've sort of resisted being on the organising team for, for several years, although I've been quite tempted because I do love organising things. Okay. Um, and at the moment, my um, role particularly is about coordinating workshops, um, which has been great, actually, because it means that I can see all the different workshops as they come in. Um, yeah, and I mean, quite a bit of work, but uh, now we've got them all in, we've got all the, the spaces filled, we've even got some on the reserve list, so... Fantastic. So there's yeah. going to be plenty for people to choose from. Yeah, there's a real range actually, which is which is lovely, which is what we want really. And and I'm really grateful actually for the people that are that are willing to give their time and energy to come and present because we'd be a bit stuck if we didn't have people that are willing to present at these things. Yeah, absolutely. So um, do you have a, an idea of how many workshops you'll put on over the conference? Yeah, we've got well, we've got four slots. So we've got um, Friday evening. We're starting the, the the conference a little bit later this year because we're trying to sort of contain the cost as much as possible. Um, so um, the keynote I think is about four o'clock in the afternoon with welcome drinks about three, and then the first workshop slot actually will be on the Friday evening, five till seven. We've got ten workshop slots then, ten on Saturday morning, ten on Saturday afternoon, and ten on on Sunday. So we've got forty workshops range of topics, range of levels, range of subjects, range of fields, really. So, um, so with 40 workshops, there's going to be plenty of things to, um, for people to choose from. Can you give us a taste of what is going to be available? Is, is that possible? Well, as it's you, as long as you don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually just been looking at a little list of things. So, um, as I said, we, we've got things catering for all different fields because we're, we're doing combined ITA, IDTA conference this year, which I think is, um, is great. So we've got some sort of just specifically for psychotherapy and counselling. So things like um, sleep, um, weight issues, both one about overeating and one about anorexia, working with suicide, um, DSM, Oedipal longings. Um, trauma, working with couples, whole whole range. That's just just a taste, really. Um, and then we've got some specific ones around education, around teaching, um, around children and play, um, and some stuff around cross cultural leadership, change, and then quite a few workshops that are open to all fields, really. That that, that are, are you know open to all applications. So uh, real range. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and 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 we're going to have mock exams. We haven't had mock exams. At conference for a long time. I've been going to conference about twenty odd years, probably about fifteen years. So, so we're going to have mock exams um, where people can sit in and, wa and watch the exams happening, which I think will be, be fabulous. Mm. So, give them an idea of what they will experience when it's yeah. when it's their time, I guess. Exactly, a yeah. taste of the joy of taking your exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also a really supportive yeah. experience, I, I, I think, in in demystifying some of the process. Actually, that it's um, you know, that it's not unachievable. That it's that it's very achievable. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and and sometimes can be a good experience doing the yes. exam. And yeah, surprisingly enough, yeah. yeah, people don't believe that until afterwards. And some people, some people have challenging times, but. I can certainly say that I enjoyed my, my CTA, but I would never have said that before I took it. So, right. yeah. yeah. So maybe that's that's a statement that's made in hindsight, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun when you walk out of the, out of the room and you've passed. Yeah, that, mm. bit, that bit is the best bit, certainly. Yeah. yeah. So people are, uh, you know, thinking about how they're using the money, being careful about, you know, how they spend on personal development. So... Mm. In terms of this conference, Lelani, what what would you say to people? Why should they come and invest their time and their resources to? Well, I think for me, as I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a long term conference goer. I think I've I've been to almost every conference for the past twenty years, and I think it's such a rich experience. So it's you know, yes, the workshops are fantastic. You get a range of people, a range of subjects. 
but also the, the contacts that you make every year I meet new people um, it's useful professionally it's really nice personally I really enjoy the, the social aspect of it um, and, and you have the ability to sort of dip in and out as you want to so some people will be up for everything and the discos and the meals and the gala dinner and all that and some people will, will prefer to sort of come and go and 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 I really love the community. I mean, I feel very passionate about um, us as a community. And, you know, there's a real range of people and you get to, to see that whole range and, and interact with them. So um, I love conference. Mm. So, mm. Sounds like an irresistible opportunity. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell it. So it's not for everybody. <laughs> Certainly, um, yeah. it's something that's, that's in my diary each year. And, um, and it's great to see it all coming together and I'm thrilled that we've got such an exciting keynote speaker and um, yeah, it'll be a good do, I think. Sounds great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the keynote speaker? Would that be okay? Yes, certainly. I have her book next to me. Ah, yes. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Um, can you read the title so, for us just in case it... Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, actually, this is just one of many books that she's that she's read. So, Margot Sunderland is um, she's a she's a child psychologist, and and she's written I think about twenty books. She's written lots of stuff, but the the first place that I really um, became really interested in her work was this this book, What Every Parent Needs to Know. And it's not just a book for parents; it's a book for anybody that's been a child, has a child, thinks about children in any in any way, is interested in development. Um, and I and I love the simple way that she explains all sorts of things that are really relevant to us in our work. And I think it's quite difficult sometimes to keep up with all the, the sort of new neuroscience that's that's coming out. But this is a this is a very accessible way of doing it. Um, and she's a great presenter as well, which you know I really wanted someone that was energised, that was interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about that. She sounds great, yes, and to get that opportunity to think about development and she brings together into the psychotherapy field also that neuroscience thread as well that's becoming so important. Yes, absolutely, and I think, um, you know, also relevant, of course, to educators, to people that are working in education um, and to people in organisations as well because, of course, you know, organisations are made up of people and um, and all of this in, impacts them as well, so... Um, yeah, so 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 I'm really hoping, and I'm going to talk to her about um, really making it relevant to all the all the fields and everybody that's uh, that's attending. Yeah, mm. yeah. So really excellent for a wide range ranging audience. Sounds great. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you haven't resisted the organising committee anymore. It sounds like you're doing a great <laughs> job over there, Lilani, and it's going to be a fantastic conference. Really yes. looking forward to it. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. So thanks for your time for the interview and um, mm -hmm. encourage people to come along to the Facebook page, share in the chat yeah. over there. Um, I've just remembered one more thing that one I want to One more thing? Yeah. Is that okay? Absolutely <laughs> but, it is. But, yeah. but I've got a little star at the bottom because one of the things I wanted to talk about was the fact that we've got two bits of um, research being presented at this conference, mm. which is fabulous, I think, for, for those of us involved in TA. Um, so one is um, by Antonella, I hope I've pronounced her, her correctly, um, about the effectiveness of TA. And the other one is um, Mark Widdison's research findings in terms of his, his work with depression and TA, which, again, I think both of those pieces are going to be really useful to, to all of us. So um, I think that's, yeah, another reason to come. Yeah, absolutely. Not to miss this um, this conference. Yeah. Okay. Sounds fantastic. Well, th thank you for such a, a lovely description of what's going to be there. And we really encourage people not to delay, book their place and to, to, to be there in April. Yeah, certainly. I think already we've got about 70 bookings, which is really exciting. Um, booking forms have not been up a week yet so um, yeah do get your places booked because the hotel because we're having it in a hotel there are real advantages to it but the places are limited as well so yeah, yeah. great okay. all well, right thank you Lilani we'll look forward to seeing you at the conference in April lovely thank you John